most difficult project I've ever done. How do you photograph something that doesn't really exist? It started almost like a joke. Three years ago, I was traveling around the world. It was a pretty good year for me because I made some, some good projects and good jobs. Buongiorno. Hey. When my tax bill arrived, I started to job with Paul and say, you know, I have to pay like 50% of what I earned in tax. So uh, maybe I should move to a uh, tax haven. We realized that we didn't know anything about tax havens, how they look, how they work. And so we decided, why don't we make a project about this? In English, we say tax haven. And in all the other languages, in German and in French and Italian and Spanish, we say tax haven. So at that moment it seemed obvious that the project was going to be called The Heavens. We met like almost 16 or 17 years ago. I went to photography school and Paolo was teaching me darkroom. The reason why we decided to work together on this project because we are good friends, we like to spend time together and secondly, we decided to work with a large format camera and so everything is low and it's heavy. We flew all over the world. We had no idea what we were going to photograph. The more we read about tax havens, the more we realized there wasn't really anything to photograph. Most of the things that are supposed to happen in tax havens don't actually happen there at all. Access was terribly difficult. So often we got negative answers or no answers at all. It's frustrating at first, but it's a good challenge. We found out there was going to be this big symposium. Asia Pacific Tax Symposium and Transfer Pricing Forum. Basically, how new laws work and how we can find a new loophole. They came back and said, actually, no autographs are allowed. We then wrote to the hotel and asked them if we could take some photos of the hotel. And while we were taking photos of the hotel, I said, oh, can we go to those conference rooms? They're really interesting for us. We started setting up the camera at the conference and went, you know, 30 yeah. seconds afterwards, we had like Too five guys guy. around us said, what are you guys doing here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the places that answered positively and we were pretty surprised was the Singapore Freeport. Within a tax haven, you have a place which is even more a tax haven because this is just off the runway of the airport. You don't even cross the border, the border into Singapore. Yeah. This place is one of the most secure places on, on earth, uh, built uh, by a Swiss company, uh, privately held. This is a place which is out of reach of any government, any tax authority. The guys told us that just in solid gold, they had more than $9 billion. Because there are lots of documents and stuff like that, if a fire breaks out, Obviously, the fire cannot be put out with water. So they have a system that sucks away all the oxygen and throws in a gas. So there is no oxygen left. And that's not the guy that was leading us, which is this big, you know, bit, bit arrogant uh, Swiss guy, says, oh, I'm missing a password key or, key or something, something like that. Yeah. So you guys just wait here and I go. And we're like, sure. And we're like so excited of being there and started thinking of the images we're going to be taking. And at some point, we find ourselves waiting yet waiting. between two spaces. With, yeah. And we said, oh no, they must 
have found out who we are. They're gonna, you know, <laughs> switch off the whole system and and gas us to death. Gabriel probably is more technical than what I am, and he's more precise. And so often he works more on setting up and doing the framing. Maybe you are a bit better than me with you know, talking with people and like sed seducing people <laughs> to, to pose for us. Then we say, okay, we might need an element of yeah. disturb. Something must happen. We don't have like a fixed role. We constantly look for each other's advice and feedback. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. became clear was that this was an enormous subject. This is at the heart of how the global finance works today. We are then victims, you are the ones that lose out in billions of dollars of unpaid taxes. We ended up opening our own company in Delaware, which is a tax haven. When they asked us, you know, what, what are you going to call your company? And we said, well, we're going to call it the, the heavens. Images of the history of photography, but maybe there are more images of our history. I, I choose a photo that I found a few years ago on my parents' basement. I was just cleaning up the basement, looking for for something. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember what I was looking for. But at a certain point, I found a little box full of uh, films. One of the photos that I found there was a really nice picture of my parents kissing while my grandfather is looking at them. The picture itself is really good. I think it's really well done. I don't know who is the, the photographer.